Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we'll have a quick review and comparison of Yuffie's indoor cams. The review and unboxing is for the non-pen and tilt version. I did review their pen and tilt model about a month ago, and that video will be more detailed as to specs and settings in the app, and we'll link it down below. And everybody that have pre-ordered these cameras should have received them already, I hope. Anyways, Yuffie sent this to me. Thank you, Yuffie because I want to check and see if there's a big difference when compared to their pan and tilt version. There is only a $10 difference in price. This retails for $39.99 while the pan and tilt is $49.99. Remember, both of these cameras are 2K quality, 2304 by 1296 pixels, recording at 15 frames per second, and has a 125 degrees field of view. And the only competition that UV have, at least for now, are Reolink's E1 series of cameras. And I did compare the pan and tilt version to Reolink's E1 Pro about a couple of weeks ago, and I will link that video in the description down below if you want to check it out. So at the end, you can decide if the $10 difference will make you buy this or get their pan and tilt instead. Before a quick unboxing, I have to address the elephant in the room. Last June 12th and partially on the 13th, Yuffie's camera servers went down. No notifications, warnings, or email from Yufi, And most people probably thought it was their cameras, like me. And luckily, before I planned to reset my cameras, I checked Yufi's forums, and users started complaining. When all said and done, it was a server issue. And there comes the comments about why there's a need for a server if Yufi's cameras are designed to record locally, either in a microSD card or built in on the cameras or base station's memory. So I have to ask the question to my contact person at Yufi, and this is their response. The app relies on the server as an address book to find customers' home base and locate the video. No videos were uploaded to the cloud. Also, if you haven't known or tried it yet, Yufi's recordings on the microSD card, and I'm assuming the same thing on their device's memory, are encrypted. You just cannot take off the SD card and hoping you can see the videos. You will get a warning that it is not accessible and it is not a recognized file system. So with Yufi, no videos are uploaded to the cloud. But the app still needs a server so as to be able to connect to your camera's recordings. So let's move along. A quick review of the features. It is a 2K Wi-Fi camera with on-device AI technology. So it can identify persons and animals. You can set it to record 24-7 and works with voice assistants. So with voice assistants, aside from Google Home and Alex A, it is also compatible with Apple HomeKit. Now this is still in beta, and they're still working on this feature and hopefully by July, it will be integrated. Opening the box, we have a 6-foot micro USB cable for power supply. We have a mounting plate for a wall or ceiling install. We have a 5-volt, 1-amp power adapter mounting screws and plastic anchors. We have a mounting template, then a quick start guide. Lastly, we have the camera itself. Camera lens, mic, status lights, and infrared LEDs in the front. UV security branding on both sides, and on the camera's left side is the micro SD card slot. On the back, we have the speaker, the sync button, and the micro USB port for power supply. Now, the camera is attached to a ball joint stand, which you have a pretty good range of motion to install this in a wall or ceiling. You will need to install the mounting plate for these type of installs. On the back, you have two hook slots to attach this camera to the base plate. Setting up the camera is pretty easy. Just download, sign up, and log into the Eufy Security app. Click Add Device on the bottom of the main app page and follow the guided instructions. If you need detailed steps on this, check out my review of their pan and tilt version which I'll link down below. As to the settings in the app, both pan and tilt and this camera have the same settings. Except for the pan and tilt settings. But we'll just show you on the mounting option which I didn't show in my first video. This is where you're going to find rotate 180 degrees toggle switch. If you need to install this camera and also the same with the pan and tilt version to a ceiling. So that the image will be flipped. As to camera controls, the pan and tilt will have pan and tilt, 360 round look, tracking, and calibration options. Aside from that, all other controls are the same. Now, these two cameras basically have the same camera lens and sensor, so the video quality in daytime should be the same. But what I want to find out is at night and see if there's a difference in the number and intensity of the infrared LEDs and if the camera adjusts the exposure at the same speed as its pan and tilt counterpart. So this is the video and audio quality of UP's 2K 
indoor Wi-Fi camera. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera. And also my blinds are open and lights off. And it is in daytime. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. So this is just a quick comparison between the uh, regular UV Indoor 2K and their pan and tilt version. So this uh, is recording in the pan and tilt version right now. And as you can see, the field of view is the same. So this is the video quality of UV's 2K Indoor Cam. And this at night, and all my lights are on. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. So this is the video quality of UFI's uh, 2K indoor cam at night. And uh, this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight infrared LEDs. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. So this is the video quality of the UV indoor pan and tilt camera and it has the same number of LEDs. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight infrared LEDs. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. I'm guessing it is about the same video quality. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the UFI's 2K indoor camera. And on my settings, I have motion detection, uh, person and pets. And as to notification, I got, uh, I only chose uh, person and uh, I have the uh, full effect on notification. So this is the same setting as the pan and tilt version and we'll see what the speed the notification speed and i'm thinking it's gonna be the same so i'm gonna get, get uh, multiple alerts so it's 11:36, and i have to cancel my wi-fi here there you go and i'm on my lte connection so let's check it out there you go and you see i got two notifications So I got both notification on uh, the indoor, the indoor and the indoor pan, um, all about the same time. When you click and hold, you will see the thumbnail, and when you click on it, you will have the uh, buffered video. This is the indoor one, and uh, same thing on the pan. Same. Click on it, and you'll get the buffered video. So it's the same. Let's see if there's a difference in the audio. The pan and tilt has the speaker on the sides, and the regular indoor cam has it on the back. This is the audio quality coming out from UP's 2K indoor camera. This is the audio quality coming out from UP's 2K indoor camera and tilt version. Both of these cameras have a siren, which you can manually activate or set it to trigger when the camera detects motion. So what do you think guys? Which one will you prefer? Both cameras perform the same as the video and audio quality even at night. UFI used the same hardware on both of these cameras. The only difference is that the pan and tilt has pan and tilt features. UFI didn't cripple the non-pan and tilt version. 
I like this feature which is in both of these cameras that you will get a notification when somebody removes the micro SD card. Which as I have said earlier, the file on the card itself is encrypted so it cannot be viewed anyways. I like that both of these cameras barely has any latency and the app is pretty responsive and loads up live view pretty quick. Now if I have only one choice, which one will I pick? Well for $10 more, I will get the pan and tilt version. And there's one thing design wise that I really didn't like on the regular indoor cam. And that is the placement of the micro USB port. Or Yuffie could have just picked a different power cable. It is stiff. Which makes placing and hiding the wire behind the camera a bit hard. And the bowl mount that the camera is attached to cannot be tightened. So if you try to move the wire, the camera moves also. Now there is a camera that has thought about this and has some wire management on the camera's base. If you know the brand and model of the camera I'm referring to, comment it down below. And first to comment will get a $25 Amazon e-gift card. One user, one guess, no multiple guesses, and no editing of comment. Good luck. Now I have the pen and tilt version for more than a month now and has been working without issues aside from Yuffie's server being down last week. I do have pet detection on even when I don't have pets. And I think it is pretty good because the 30 or so days that I have used the camera, there are only two instances that it has detected me or anybody in my family as a pet. And it is when I'm partially seen and on my side sitting on a couch. Also I have a 64GB card and you can see that I still have motion activated recordings from a month ago. I don't need to record 24-7 and if you pick a date, you can scroll down to all the recordings. You can put in up to a 128GB card and I should be able to have 2 months worth of footage before it gets recorded over. Overall, Yuffie's 2K indoor camera is a pretty good choice if you're looking for a higher than 1080p video quality. It has good and responsive cameras and app. Motion detection and notifications are spot on. Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. Please share and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell icon so as to get notified when I upload product reviews and comparison videos like this video, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.